Welcome back, it's Melissa again, and today we're gonna to make a kids watercolor jellyfish project. Oh, but first I went to, to buy it, to get this watercolor thing going. Uh, I went to go look at the Dollar Tree for the watercolors. They didn't have them, but they, I ended up buying a bunch of other crap. So let's go through the crap and see what I bought. These cute little bottles, glass bottles. I have no idea what I need these for. I don't need them. These are just, regular trashy brushes that I don't mind getting stain and stuff on them. Uh, more brushes for watercolor. Okay, we're gonna use those today. Oh, more cute bottles, look how cute that is. They're tiny. They're, oh, they're, are they the same size? Oh, they're almost the same size. I spent eight bucks for these on Amazon. Oh, glitter glue. Okay, these were a dollar. More glitter glue and more glitter glue. I got about every color that they had except some god awful yellow. Oh, look, but I did get this. It's good for fall. Okay, so end of the crap mine. Uh, don't need this. Bye, bye. Okay, so today we're gonna make the jellyfish watercolor. I taught this class to fifth graders. It's a really easy project and it's fun. So the kids have fun doing it. It's not too much of a pain in the neck for the person teaching it. And so it's kind of like a win-win situation. Okay, so here I have my clean piece of paper. I have my iodized salt. It has to be iodized if you're going to sprinkle Himalayan or sea salt, you're just gonna end up with salty paper. Okay, it, it doesn't do anything. It kind of makes these things, it doesn't do it as well as iodized. Okay, so you're going to take a brush doesn't it could be this any one of these brushes okay these are probably too small any sort of medium-sized brush doesn't have to be flat tipped it could be round this is just the cheap set I got at Dollar Tree so I'm just using the flat tip one you're gonna have the kids make upside down U's so I make a red one And then I'm gonna make a purple one. All right, and then I gotta go back in here and I go with a second color paint. That's a bit dark, <laughs> oh well. We're gonna grab some orange. And now add some water. And if you don't clean your brush, you get this mixed effect. Okay, now you're gonna have the kids get blobs, put blobs of water and paint. This is gonna make the streaky tails of the jellyfish. I'm trying to use dark colors so that it shows up on the camera. So blobs, just get that really saturated with water, the little blobs. Oh, I did not put a paper towel underneath this. All the kids art classes that I've ever taught always had the protective paper on it. So I'm assuming you have protective paper underneath, right? You're not gonna use it on your antique oak table like I'm doing. Okay, and then you do this and the blobs streak. Now, the ones that aren't streaking, we're just gonna tilt the paper and add some more water and tap. You want more streaks and different colors, you'd go back in, get some more colors in there and start puddling. So the reason why we're waiting for this to dry is if you do the background first and then you try to streak the tails, you'll end up with this mess. Okay, it's been three minutes. I had set the timer on my phone. Here we go. We're gonna use the big fat brush and get some pigment in there and then we're gonna brush it on the paper. I'm gonna avoid the actual jellyfish part as much as I can. Let's 
get another color in there. I'm just using the blue. Okay, make sure you get the paper wet. I'm gonna add some green in here just for the heck of it. Again, make sure it's wet. Okay, now you sprinkle salt. In the class setting, we didn't have this. We put a little cup with poured the salt in there and each kid just pinched it with their hands and did this just so it was easier for all kids to have access to the salt. Okay, now we wait and in about 10 to 15 minutes, the salt will react with the water and the paper and we'll have like a starburst effect. Okay, this is 10 minutes and you can see how this is making those little star effects. What I usually do when we're done with the art projects at this point, we're just waiting for it to dry is have the kids step away from their seats and snake around all the other seats to see everybody else's project, kind of like a little art show. Anyway, that's it. Once it's dry, you can hand it to the kids. Oh, I missed the obvious step, but I always have them put their name on the back before starting.